Hello and welcome back to another video. Now it's been quite a bit since I've actually done a video, so I might as well get one today. There's been so much drama in this KFK, it's absolutely unreal, including my own kingdom. Um, but I'm going to go through that today, and just a simple video out there to tell you what's going on in multiple kingdoms, including my own. And it's basically a whole rundown of how this KFK <laughs> might go. Yeah. So, first off, I will start with 05 and 07 and 17, but before I say that, thanks guys so much for the birthday wishes, it was my birthday on Saturday, the 9th of March, but um, yeah, I had a great birthday, of course, got a new mouse, new keyboard, and also new headphones as you see around my neck, they are coarse hair, and so is my mouse and my mechanical keyboard as well, so I'm sorry if you can hear like, clicking, but yeah, uh, especially in streams, <laughs> so here we go, so we're going to start off with 07 and 05 and uh, 17. So originally, uh, 05 was allies with us, uh, 08, and also 17. Now, I don't specifically know what happened between 05 to 17, but um, basically all I got told, obviously I might be spreading misinformation here, but all I got told is there was some back and forth banter and um, some people thought it was over the level 6 uh, sanctum I believe that is and some people just thought it was back and forth banter and stuff like that so yeah that's what happened 07 pushed out with 05 they both allied and now 05 is part of the the group with 10 and 16 that's just that's, that's just the first one and then we go to this I got no clue what happened with 16, but um, they got absolutely smashed, <laughs> that's the best way to put it. Uh, 17 and 18 both pushed out and claimed Zarat, if that's how you say it, Zarat, and now they will have access to pretty much every single path pass on Z's zone. So yeah, they pushed out. I mean, 17 and 18 are incredible strong kingdoms. 17, extremely brave for going against two Imperiums for a start. So props to them. Absolutely brave people right there. Uh, I absolutely love 17. It is a shame that 05 did leave, but um, 17 and 18, absolutely amazing people. Um, a bit sorry for 16, because they are Imperium. They're second strongest, and they lost to two like fifth and sixth strongest in the get in the double deal in the game in the KVK. So yeah. Oopsie for them. But um obviously obviously they will push out when zone five comes because I don't know where where my kingdom's going to be honest. It's been such a mess. But um, I'm here to talk about it today. So basically what's going on is there has been rumors and stuff. I don't know what's true. I could be honest, I don't really care. I'm just here for KVK too. I don't care what's happening as long as like, I'm in the right alliance, basically. So, Putin, my king, current king, um, there's been rumours that he stole king, and basically that's led to uh, two people leaving the leadership, or more. Actually, there is more now. Uh, as you guys know, we did have departments in our kingdom, and pretty much every single one of them has fell. And if I zoom in down here, you might be able to see why. Uh, yeah. Hi, Mick. <laughs> Sorry that I'm recording a video, you both, but there you guys are, right there in IG's glory. Oh, IG was my old alliance. Uh, I love IG until someone took over it. But yeah. Neo Neona is the old leader of IG. I absolutely loved her. She was ace. I believe she is in IB. Let me just have a look. I think she's in IB. Uh, IB. Yay. IB. 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 Neonya. Yeah, yeah. She's there. Yeah, she was the best. Um, I don't know why they took her out of leadership. But, yeah. Such a good person. The best leader. Easily. So, now, in terms of leadership, we have Shelby. Um, Putin is now the king. He's the one that pretty much carried his kingdom all the way through KVK1, uh, as I was told. I was not in there, KVK1. Uh, Char is still here. He was. He's the member department. And obviously, Jamie, uh, ex Putin, um, Queen of Ashes is back. Good to see you again. Putin P and me. 
as I'm in the two now, which means I'm going to be. L Ooh, I might be awful. I've uh, got Lady Honey still here. Good, good. Everyone's still here. So, oh, I'm Napoleon. That's good to see. So, this kingdom isn't actually fell apart at all. Um, I'm happy for that. I'm, I'm happy that I'm still here. <laughs> Nervous laugh. But yeah, it's. Um, I mean, a, a lot of young, ki young, young kingdoms fall apart. Uh, as I've seen in the past, a lot of them fall apart. As you guys know, my Jumper Project did start their accounts. I did start my account as well, and we jumped in that time. Unfortunately, I am not on that account anymore. Basically, what's going on is I'm going to be going on other accounts to help in Arco Cyrus, and then bring this account to that Kingdom's KVK2, which I'm going to be going to KVK2 again, because I need a better run than this. <laughs> Come on. Um, pretty un unfair KVK for sure. Uh, probably the one of the worst I've been in. Um, so, fighting t in terms of fighting, fighting 10. Yay. <laughs> oh my days. So, I don't know what's going to be going on, but um, yeah. So, basically, if I swiftly talk about the um, the drama. So, what I've been this is what I've been told. This is not what's true or what's wrong. This is what I've personally been told by 08. I will edit this out if it's not true or they just don't want me to put it in the video. Basically, Territory Department, I'm not going to say names, although I have shown him on screen. Territory Department wanted to put a fort right here. So it was about here. It basically in front of Tens Pass. Now everyone knows just by looking at the screen, that is pretty damn stupid. You would not put a fort right there, especially the main alliance's fort. You would not want to put that there at all. Because, as I've been told by uh, someone, KC's skillful, skillful craftsmen and also counter-offensive are on 10. Level 10, and they are ready to flag over. They'll be over here in about two hours. Not even that. So, I don't know why I would put a fort there, but that was the plan. And now it's not the plan, obviously. Quite obviously not the plan. So, yeah, that's basically... <laughs> What is that? Now Putin has put a um, mail out. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to show it on screen, but I know everyone's probably already seen it. Basically him saying that 08 is going to get better and basically explain the whole situation of what's happened on his side. And I, be I do believe in Putin. And that's why I am still an IV. I do like Putin a lot. Um, In-game Putin, guys. But... Um, yeah, I believe that this kingdom will grow to be its max maximum best. I will be leaving this kingdom though, um, when my jumperish kingdom gets to um, when it gets to KFK two basically, and that's not going to be for a long time yet, about three or four months. So this kingdom will be probably be an SOC by then. Uh, yeah, probably SOC. So that's basically what's happening in this KFK. Uh, 17 and 18, congrats to them, they did really, really well. And we obviously will be going into this zone, but yeah, 10, all the way around there, straight into this pass here. We literally have no protection on these passes at all. So I I'll uh, update you guys on what's going on on the leadership and my kingdom itself. But yeah, that, that's what's going on at the moment. And now, of course, it's my account, account update, ba-boom, ba-boom, ba-boom. Uh, I now have three full, na full marches uh, in terms of like 50% extenders. 330, 330, 330. Oh no, wait, it'll be 310, won't it? It'll be 310. Yeah, it'll be 310. So I'll 310, 310, 310. Cool. That'll be alright for me because I keep, I keep forgetting because um, my old KVK had a march boost. I might be wrong. I don't know. But yeah, that's what's going on in this KVK, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, it's been quite quite nervous, actually. Quite a nervous, nervous go. But um, before I end this video here, guys, I just want to say that no one is in the wrong of this. Um, I'm not spreading anything. I love OA. Um, I like it here. Uh... For all the things about Mick and Necker and all that, uh, I just want to say that I respect them both. I'm not saying bad anything about anything bad about them. Although, 
you know, some things might have been said out of paranoia or whatnot. It's just what kingdoms go through. Now, not all obviously kingdoms will go through it, but a lot of kingdoms will go through it. And I really hope they them to come back into leadership because, well, we kind of need them. <laughs> but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.